All right, so going over problem three from the 2016 free response section. Here we have in women's tennis, a player must win two out of three sets to win a match. If the player wins the first two sets, she wins the match, and the third set is not played. Player V and player M will compete in a match. Let V represent the event that player V wins a set, and let M represent the event that player M wins a set. So part one is gonna you're gonna list all the possible sequences of events V and M by set play that will result in V winning the match. So all the ways that um, player V can win. Okay, so the way I like to set this up is let's have like three events, set one, set two, and set three. So what can happen in set one is that player V can win or player M can win. Then from there, you can have that player B wins again, or that then player M wins. Now, here, the, here it stops because then we have two wins by B, and then the match ends. But here, we have to keep on going. So we could then have player B win, and then we could have, or we could have player M win. And it would stop in this case because in this case, um, player M won two. Matches are player one, player in one, two sets. In this case, player V one, two sets. Um, now going over here, if if on the first set player M one, you could then have player V win the next one, or player M could win the second one. Here the match would stop because player M has one, two sets. From here we would go into the third set. You could have player V win the third set or you could have player M win the third set. In either case, the um, set's going to stop. So look, we have one case here. In this case, V1, V1, because they won two times, because they won two sets in a row. So that's one possibility where they can win. The other one is VMV. They could win the first, lose the second, and win the third. So we have V, M, V. And the other way player V could win is they could lose the first set, but then win set two and three. So we could also have M, V, V. So this is going to be your answer. Three possible ways that player V can win. Now, the other way, we have all the possible sequences that will make it so that player M wins the match. So then the other three ones would be player M winning because obviously they're either player M or player V is gonna win. So then we have this possibility where V wins the first set, then M wins the second and third. Or we're gonna have M, V, V. Or you just, or sorry, no, whoops, I mean, MVM. Win the first, lose the second, win the third. Or player M can straight up win the first and second set. Okay, so that takes her care of part A. Let's look at part B. We have... Player B and M have competed against each other many times. Historical data show that each player is equally likely to win the first set. Player B wins the first set. The probability that she'll win the second set is 0.6. Player B loses the first set. The probability that she will lose the second set is 0.7. Player B wins exactly one of the first two sets. The probability that she will win the third set is 0.45. What's the probability that player B will win a match against player M? Okay, so um, what we can do is just set up this diagram with the probabilities like shown, like kind of like a tree diagram. Um, let me just rewrite it quickly over here so that um, you can have more, you can see it more clearly. So V M V M V V
BN MN. They're both equally likely to win the first set. So um, this means that they both have a 50 50 shot. So we put 0.5 on this branch. Now, if player B wins the first set, so we're talking about this pathway, they have a 0.6 chance of winning the second set. So then we're going to put 0.6 here because that would be that they won. Then here would have to be 0.4 because these always have to add up to 1. Now it says if player V loses the first set, the probability that she will lose the second set is 0.7. So here she loses. And then for her to lose again means that you would get player M winning. So this branch would be 0.7. And that would be that then this branch would, would be 0.3 because these two again have to add up to one. And the last part says, if player V wins exactly one of the first two sets, the probability that she'll win the third set is 0.45. So here she wins, going down this path, she wins the first, one of the first two. So then this is 0.45 because this is her winning the whole match or the third set. And again, then this would be 0.55 because these two have to add up to one. Um, and let's see if there's, oh yeah, so then here also, she wins exactly one of the first two sets again. This means that we're going on this path. So this would be 0.45, because this is her winning the third set. And then this would be 0.55. Let me use a different pen to show this answer. Okay, so what's the probability that player V will win a match against player M? Well, we're going to look at this pathway, the VV. The probability of VV is 0.5 times 0.6. You just multiply them, so that's 0.3. You could also win this way, VMV. You do 0.5 times 0.4 times 0.45, you multiply those three together and you would get 0.09 for that. The third way she could win is going MVV. So probability of MVV, 0.5 times 0.3 times 0.45. You get 0 0.0675. Probability of player V winning would then be equal to 0.3 plus 0.09 plus 0.0675. So adding those together. We get 0 0.4575. Here's your answer for that. And let's go over the last part now. Okay, so then part C, what's the probability that a match between player V and M will consist of three sets given player V wins the match? So if we're given that player V wins the match, this is a conditional probability. So what you got to do is find the possible ways that you can have three sets and divided by the probability that player V wins the match. So the way you can have three sets, let's go back to um, this. The way you can have three sets, only in the only con only containing the ones where V wins, you could have 
this guy here or this guy. So you would just add these two. That would be on top. And divided by the, the, the given part, you're given that um, player V wins the match. The probability that player win, v even, player V wins the match is given we did in part B. That's the point four five seven five. So that we just divide. Divided by point four five seven five. And we're going to get a point three four four. Grand part D, what's the expected number of sets played when player B competes in a match with player N? So if you remember this symbol, expected value, you're given the formula sheet, so this is on your formula sheet. This will be some, written like something like this. Xi times the probability of P, Pxi. And you're, you're, well, the sum of those, I guess. So, I mean, in this case, it'd be like the probability of x1 times the probability, x1 times the probability of x1 plus x2 times the probability of x2 and so forth. Da, da, da. So, you kind of, it's basically just finding the weighted average. The weighted average. What's the probability that, uh, the, what's, what's like the average number of sets? Um, so, this would be that. You could have, you know, you could either only have two sets or three sets. So x1 would be two, so two times the probability of having two sets. We'll just say x being two plus three, because the only other way you get is three sets, three times x probability of x being three. Now, the ways you can have two sets are only going to be the VV and the MM. VV is 0.3. MM would be 0.5 times 0.7, which would be then 0.35. So basically, the, the probability of having two sets played is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.35 or 0 0.65. So this would be 2 times 0 0.65 plus 3. And then that means that there would only have to, there would have to be a 0.35 probability of playing three sets because again the only possible number of sets are two and three and both those have to add up to one. So then we just do this math. And we get our answers 2.35. So the expected number of sets is 2.35. All right, so this is a this is a good problem to practice the probability. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and of course, you know, give me a like if it helped you, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.